Hey everyone, this is Kieran from Eccentric Physio. Today's exercise is looking at progressing how to strengthen your rhomboids. Um, so we're going to go a little bit into the mechanics of how to best position yourself um, to strengthen those muscles. If you're not sure what those are, the ones that sit on the back here and they connect our shoulder blade to the middle of our thoracic spine or that sort of center in here. And it allows us to pull backwards. So if you've got any issues with muscles back here or you feel like you've lost some pulling strength, then this is probably a really useful exercise for you. So when we're thinking about trying to bias a muscle over other muscles, we need to think a little bit about the actions that that muscle does. So in the rhomboids case, it's a retractor of the shoulder blade. It's going to pull that shoulder blade backwards. It's going to downwardly rotate that shoulder blade, and it's also going to aid in a little bit of external rotation. And so the exercise needs to combine all three of those to try and bias that muscle towards its maximum shortening potential. And then you could argue that it needs to do the pure opposite to fully lengthen. And so that would be a, like a protraction, an upward rotation, and an internal rotation, which would be, you know, kind of here. So protraction, and then I have um, internal rotation of the arm and um, upward rotation because my arm is up here. So when you're releasing the weight, we might be up in this position. And then when you're shortening, you're trying to come back this way. The key here is that you're trying to pull the elbow behind you, you're not going into your side. By going behind, you're going to encourage that downward rotation. So if you have a cable set up or a rubber band, it's going to be overhead. You want to be pulling from up to down. And so to start with, if I'm here, that's more than enough because my hand is going to drop down lower. And I'm pulling, trying to get the elbow to go behind my back. Something that's going to happen as a sort of a synergist or like a way to try and help is your lats might kick in or some of your pecs and those guys are going to bias the internal rotation. So if you find that as you pull down, you're starting to pull the weight towards your front, then that means that it's a little too heavy for what you're trying to do. Not that pulling that way is bad, but if you want to bias the rhomboids, we need to maintain that external rotation. And so I'm pulling and I'm trying to not let it go this way, keeping that external rotation, driving the elbow behind me, and you're gonna feel some cramps kicking up in through this area up in here. Just for as another angle, so you can see, I'm trying to pull that elbow behind me. Okay. Now you could sit down as well to increase the challenge by being more overhead that's gonna encourage a little bit more range to be used. So being up here and then same thing of pulling down. Don't have to necessarily be here. You could be sitting on a bench. You could be sort of sitting on your heels. You could be whatever position, just get that anchor a bit higher. Pulling down that way. So pretty straightforward exercise. Choose a weight that feels moderately difficult. Something that, you know, probably around the 15-ish rep range as a max. If you're able to do 30-odd reps, you know, whereas you could argue what's the added benefit there. Maybe if you're trying to get some hypertrophy, as long as you're feeling fatigue. But from the strength side of things, we just need it to feel moderately difficult. So make sure that the last few reps feel tough, but not necessarily to failure. Okay? So play around with that. And um, basically, as a progression, you're just going to keep increasing the weight from now. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.